As we wrap up our series on Ben's nine candidates for city council, we meet the four running for seat four. The winner will serve half a term, two years, after a resignation from the council earlier this year. Kathy Marshall introduces the candidates. The positions for Ben City Council are nonpartisan. Candidates for seat four are Barb Campbell, Karen Johnson, Bill Olson, and Erlen Taylor. You'll hear from them alphabetically, beginning with council veteran Barb Campbell. I do bring experience, and that is the single thing that separates me from any of the other candidates and from anyone else who will be sitting on council. Everyone has less than two years of experience. Barb Campbell brings eight years of experience experience on the city council to city hall. She'd like a two-year term to make it 10 years. The housing shortage and its impact on homelessness will be priorities. I feel like allowing a safe, again, managed space for people um, we have seen at least dozens already who have just needed that stability for a few months. Most funding for temporary and emergency shelter goes through the counties, and we have not had great success getting the county commission to cooperate and work with us to provide shelter for people. Campbell admits government moves slowly, saying during her tenure it took five Five years for the first neighborhood greenway and three years for the fireworks ban. I've been able to maintain that joy when something finally does come to fruition without letting the frustration of the time, you know, get to me and weigh me down. City Council candidate Karen Johnson is a devoted gardener who used to weed out criminals as a prosecutor with Multnomah County and the U.S. Department of Justice. I spent 38 years prosecuting criminals, uh, which means leading investigations, trying people, and I've spent 38 years protecting crime victims' rights. Johnson moved to Bend in 2014 and is passionate about land use law. No dialogue in this city. You make a, a comment to the city, you ask a question, all you're going to hear back is, thank you for your comment. The city council refuses to engage in dialogue with its citizens. And that is the chief reason that I'm running. Johnson's first issue would focus on the homeless. They're allowing low barrier shelters in residential neighborhoods. If I'm elected, the day after I'm sworn in, I'm going to introduce legislation to revoke it because low barrier shelters do not belong in residential neighborhoods. She suggests looking to Boise for policies on the homeless and to cities in Colorado for how they've increased workforce housing. I've been talking to the planning directors of these cities and I have some positive solutions, but they're not going to happen unless I get on the city council. I think I would bring different perspective and perhaps new blood to the council, because we all know that the city manager sets the agenda there's perspective and then maybe that needs to be changed and that's what I'm hearing from the voters. Commercial real estate professional Bill Olson is a lifelong Bend resident who's ready to get involved at City Hall after volunteering on local boards. I hear yeah from people very strongly you know the homeless let's you know we have to deal with it and, and I contend that it's an issue that we're all gonna have to take care of in other words we just can't say the city's got to do it the county's got to do it it's gonna have to be a base the, the grass grassroots I think once you formulate a plan or a process with all city, county, police, fire department, colleges, uh, the breweries. I mean, I think city chamber of commerce. Once you come up with a solve or a plan or a process to solve it, I think funding then can come from a bond issue of sorts or perhaps federal money. Addressing growth in the city would also be on Olson's agenda. He's confident his years in the city would make him an effective leader. I'm born and raised in Bend, Oregon. I'm a product of this environment. And simply put, I, I would like to be part of the future. I believe in the city of Bend. It's a great city. And I believe that we can come together as a community and help each other. And I'm here to be the voice for our neighbors and our community. In her run for Bend City Council, Erlen Taylor points to her 20 years of experience, making sure Oregonians at every income level have access to affordable housing. She's with Loom Property Partners, a company based in the Portland area. So I'm a female business owner. I own a um, property management company and I've been in the housing industry for many, many years. And I feel like uh, being in that collaborative environment of 
providing housing for people and also being on the other end of servicing the community, I feel I have the ability to also um, serve the community even more. The city council is trying to, you know, make some changes. I just don't necessarily think that they've incorporated or collaborated with um, with the citizens of Bend to come up with different solutions as to how to handle those things. There is another race on the November 8th ballot that'll impact the Bend City Council, that of Bend Mayor, between Chris Piper and Melanie Keebler. They debated here on News Channel 21, and you can watch it at ktvz.com. Kathy Marshall, News Channel 21.